Hello everyone. We sincerely appreciate the time invested in viewing and listening to our posts. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and put in comments and likes as you find is appropriate. Hit the subscribe button while watching a video or listening to an audio. We'll try to add different agenda that has a refreshing effect on our minds and soul and might contribute towards building a pleasant and meaningful lifestyle. Make sure you're using a good quality of earphones, headphones or woofer oriented sound systems having ample amount of bass to make the best use of your time invested in viewing the channel. You can also use Bluetooth audio speakers connected with some bus. Do not listen using direct sound of mobile phones, desktops, laptops, televisions, which is not attached to a earphone, headphone, or a Bluetooth or wired woofer oriented sound system. Because that way, the invested time won't get the right value since the audio quality that needs to be reaching out to your ears is lost. Most of our videos will have audio impact that needs to be considered. Thanks for your time and we appreciate that. Bye now. Hello everyone. This is Mia. I'm a writer and a storyteller. I hope you all are home and safe. I'm here with some interesting characters for you who are hopping in my mind and are ready to be a part of your free time. I just wanted to share the short stories that I wrote lately in this lockdown. I know we all are busy and I promise that I'm going to keep it short but interesting. I hope you all enjoy listening to my short stories. So this will be a series of short stories which is coming up. You can follow up scene by scene to enjoy the stories. Stay tuned. Lucid Dreams is my first story which I'm going to share with you. Scene 1 begins in an observation room. Sarah has come to meet a psychiatrist but she keeps dreaming about a man. Sarah enters the room. Eric, who is the psychiatrist, wishes her. Good morning. How are you, do how are you feeling today? Sarah, I'm fine but I always dream about a man. Eric, hey. Calm down. Do you know about lucid dreams? Sarah. No. I don't know. Can you tell me about it? Well, says Eric. It's a condition when you know you are in a dream and whatever goes around, you can feel it. Sarah. I don't know about that, but I always see a man often in my dreams. I know him. We were colleagues. Eric, great. So how often do you see him, Sarah? I cannot tell you the number of times, but I can describe the dreams if you want me to. Eric, how about you just tell me what do you really feel in the dream? Sarah, I feel good. I feel he's around me. He's talking to me. I smile and I like to keep the conversation going. Eric, are you able to do that? Sarah, I'm sorry. Eric, I mean, are you able to keep the conversation going? Precisely, I want to know, does it happen how you want it to go? Sarah, no. Eric, okay. Is there a dream you have seen where you are able to control the flow of the dream or it has ended how it how you wanted it to be? Sarah, yes. Eric, good. Now tell me, what was the dream all about? Sarah, okay. So when I was a kid, I used to get scared of spirits, but still love to watch ghost stories. So sometimes I I used to get dreams of ghosts or demons or many supernatural figures. That happens when you are a child, right? Now let me explain the dream to you. I was standing in the balcony. I know that they are coming. Yes, I mean the bad people. The ghost who wanted to kill me and my family members. I ran into the hall and tried to make sure if everyone else is fine. The spirits were waiting for me 
as soon as I entered the open veranda, they was they started to scream. I can still hear the scream. They were all looking at me. I rushed into the room to find something to kill them all. I found a sword big enough to kill four at a time. They were all over the veranda and somewhere on the terrace too. I stepped out with the confidence that I am not going to let my family trouble again. They are gone. I heard a third. It was a giant one. I attacked with no second thought in my mind and then began the saga of death. I kept on killing them one by one. I went to the terrace to make sure they are not hiding. The entire place was full of pool of blood, but I didn't stop. I kept on chasing them. I made sure they are all killed and this time there's no mercy. Eric, hmm. You are brave, aren't you? How old were you, Sarah? I was nine. Is that bad, doctor? Eric. Did you see any such dream again? Sarah. Yes, and it's still in my mind, like I have seen it last night. Eric. That is not good for you. You should not remember your dreams. Eric. Don't worry. We will make sure you won't remember anything. Sarah, is anything wrong with me? Am I fine? Eric, you are amazing. Eric, you need to rest. I will write a medication which will calm your mind. And if you agree, I must suggest a therapy for you. It would take two weeks. I would need your blood samples and some brain simulation test has to be done. Sarah, whoa, that sounds like you have a plan for me. I mean, it's just a dream, Eric. I know, but your mind is not calm. It has to be in an equilibrium. Sarah, is it not at this moment? Eric, I'm not saying that. Sarah, please tell me. I am brave enough to take it. Eric, nurse. Sarah, what? Where are they taking me? Eric, for some test. You need to cooperate, Sarah. It's for your good, Sarah. No! So, scene one ends here and it's going to be continued. You guys have to stay tuned to know what happened to Sarah. Take care. Thank you. Hello everyone. We sincerely appreciate the time invested in viewing and listening to our posts. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and put in comments and likes as you find is appropriate. Hit the subscribe button while watching a video or listening to an audio. We'll try to add different agenda that has a refreshing effect on our minds and soul and might contribute towards building a pleasant and meaningful lifestyle. Make sure you're using a good quality of earphones, headphones or woofer oriented sound systems having ample amount of bass to make the best use of your time invested in viewing the channel. You can also use Bluetooth audio speakers connected with some bus. Do not listen using direct sound of mobile phones, desktops, laptops, televisions, which is not attached to a earphone, headphone, or a Bluetooth or wired woofer oriented sound system. Because that way, the invested time won't get the right value since the audio quality that needs to be reaching out to your ears is lost. Most of our videos will have audio impact that needs to be considered. Thanks for your time and we appreciate that. Bye now.